Hi, I'm Eric Lenasque from TMC, coming to you again from Interop in Las Vegas. And now I'm sitting here with Mark Pining from Uplogix. Mark, right. welcome. Thanks. Uh, so, one of the things now heading into day three, I've been able to identify a couple of uh, major trends uh, in terms of uh, the people that I've talked to. One, obviously, is uh, virtualization and cloud computing. Uh, the other one that I've noticed is there's a lot of attention being focused on uh, distributed organizations and uh, branch office environments. And, right. and that's obviously something that uh, you really play in as well. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, we see the same thing. And it's not surprising that uh, a lot of companies are actually trying to bring a lot of the devices and discrete uh, servers or pizza boxes that are existing out there and trying to converge that all into one device. You know, Riverbed, Cisco, Juniper, they're all trying to do this branch in a box thing. And we agree with that. Uh, we just think that there's also a need for a control plane, a separate device that manages all these other devices and all these functions out there because you know, it doesn't really make sense to manage the network with the network you're trying to manage, right? Because when the network is broken, not only can you not fix it, but it's also not secure, right? Because uh, you have to give passwords and things to people to try to fix it. Right. So how do you, at Uplogix, uh, address that situation? Well, what we've done is we've built a uh, remote control uh, plane, a separate appliance that actually plugs in via serial or console port into the devices, just like you would if you were the tech that was going to fix a device. And then if there's any issues, because we're pulling directly every 30 seconds as a default, or more frequently if you want, with no SNMP tax, polling tax, we're able to fix devices faster than you'd even know what the issue was with SNMP polling because you know, we can fix things in five to seven minutes and often those polling intervals are 10, 15, 30 minutes. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, certainly a benefit uh, for, for those uh, users. Uh, now you've also, uh, this, I think, just uh, recently announced uh, something with Cisco. Absolutely, so this week we've actually been at Cisco's booth. Uh, we, they recently uh, brought us into their technology developer program and so that status gives us access, further access to Cisco and their resources to make sure that we're interoperable and that we are taking advantage of all the best practices that Cisco TAC uh, has defined to recover devices. So we already have that in our product, but they're giving us additional visibility to get further breadth and, and uh, refine how we can recover devices without any human involvement, which is unique in the industry. It's never been done before. Now, going back to your, uh, one of your earlier comments of, of, about uh, comparing what you're doing to that, uh, that branch in a box type solution. Right, yeah. What's the market reception like uh, in terms of having to now deploy, uh, despite the benefits, setting those yeah. aside for a moment, but, sure. but having to deploy two parts of the solution as opposed to a single? Completely, yeah, it's a great question. So today, people actually deploy software. They, they spend a bunch of money and they put software in the NOC and you know, they have many licenses for many agents and all those things crawl over the network to provide some management and monitoring capability. Um, and then you buy production devices at the edge. Um, you should never buy us for 100% of the devices in your network. We, would, we think that that is cost prohibitive. But absolutely you should buy us instead of software agentry for mission critical devices in remote locations where you don't have smart IT people to do the work. Because if, if it's mission critical, it affects op opportunity costs or revenue or you have high site visit costs for break fix events or it just is risky to push changes, regular changes over the network and potentially break something. Or maybe you're just tired one night and you fat finger an ackle, right, change. Um, uh, you don't want to be in that situation. So if it's mission critical, and 10 to 20% of everybody's uh, sites are mission critical. It's just a matter of identifying those and getting technology in to, to save them and, and make them secure. Are there particular uh, verticals or industries that uh, you're seeing uptake in? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, if you look at financial services, you look at energy, those are absolutely verticals that you know, are, are screaming for this technology. From a uh, lights out or dim data center perspective, Citigroup is one of our largest customers and has deployed us around the world managing um, really tens of thousands of ports uh, in their environment. And um, in our um, in our uh, uh, other industries that we've served, energy is an example, whether it's utilities or pipelines or offshore exploration, some of the world's most extreme and remote locations, we're out there and we're managing Cisco and other infrastructure um, over satellite using Iridium to, to solve that problem. So there isn't a remote location that you can think of that we can't address. We've, we've already done the hardest ones, and so now it's just about bringing it mainstream to the rest of the enterprise. Good. Now, one last question. How, how is uh, your relationship, your, your extended relationship now with Cisco going to benefit you? 
Well, I think you know Cisco is a great partner, and, and, and Cisco obviously everybody has some Cisco. <laughs> it's a just a question of how much Cisco gear you have um, and where where it is. And so uh, while we also support many other devices, and we have many customers that have those um, Juniper and, and and many others, um, we absolutely uh, enjoy the fact that Cisco. You know, they're very open, they're very collaborative, and, and they, they recognize that management is something that um, you know, the, the third party ecosystem can really bring a lot of value in. And so that, um, that endorsement you know, for their sales force, their channel, and, uh, and their customers has really been helpful. The other thing is we'll be at Cisco Live in a month, and um, we'll be a silver sponsor there. And so their endorsement and their support in that is going to be exciting. And it'll be great to get this technology in front of all those, uh, you know, CCIEs and CCNAs and other folks that are going to be out there. So That's fantastic. We've been chatting here at uh, Interop in Las Vegas with Mark Pining from Uplogix. Mark, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks a lot. Good luck. Thanks. Appreciate it.